So this morning we're going to offer up just a word uh, to encourage you this morning. If you would, you can stand up and find your Bible. Hallelujah. This morning we're going to take a look at some scripture here. And I believe the Lord is going to bless us in that. Hallelujah. Mm. If you would turn with me to the book of Hebrews, the eleventh chapter, it's in the back of your Bible. We're going to look at chapter number eleven and verse number one. Hebrews, the eleventh chapter. We're going to look at verse number one. If you would, you can stand for the reverence of the reading of God's word this morning as we read it. In the book of Hebrews. It's right tucked behind a very small book by the name of Philemon. If you'll pray with me this morning, it's 1015 right now. If you'll pray with me this morning, I'll be done by 1025. And we can all be on our way back to the house. Can I get an amen for that? All right. There's a few there. All right, if you can stand with me. Come on, fellas, in the back. Let's stand for the reading of God's word. I only need you for this one verse. When you have it, indicate by shouting, amen. amen. All right, is there everybody there? Hebrews 11. Everybody there? Everybody there? Everybody there? Amen. You sure? Amen. Anybody, anybody got it? All right, Hebrews 11 and verse number 1. I just need everybody to read the first word. Now. now. We're going to try it again. On the count of three, we're going to read the first word. One, two, three. Now. now. We're going to try it one last time. Let's read it once again. One, two, three. Now. now. Okay, close your Bible. That's all I need. All right, then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on with it, Pastor. Now. Okay. now. Now, that's, yeah, that's it, bro. That's it. That's it. Now, this morning, God began to minister to me while I was getting ready to come over here. And I was like, well, I hadn't thought about anything, I hadn't prepared anything. God, what do you want to say to the people? And he actually took me to the verse of scripture that was right along with what we sung this morning. The song that said, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Well, in that whole verse in the book of Psalms, the part that stuck out to me was, this is the day. So for a subject this morning, I'm going to use that. That right now, for a subject, this is your day. Well, This is the day that could change the rest of your life. This is the day that you can make some decisions that will begin to affect the rest of your life. Uh, there are those of you that have been kind of maybe struggling with some things as well. You're dealing with some things, you're dealing with issues, you're dealing with life, and you're wondering, well, God, when is this storm going to end? And God says to you this morning, this is the day. Now, that might not excite everybody this morning because everybody ain't going through stuff. Some people are going through nice, you know, the roses of life and all that. But there are some people in the room who very quietly won't, won't admit, maybe, but that they're going through some things this morning and, and they needed a word from God. Some of us barely made it to church this morning. And, we, and sometimes we, we get low on our faith and we get discouraged and we get tired and we're wondering when God is going to begin to bless us. This morning, God says to you, I've seen all the stuff you've been going through and the time for your turnaround and your fixing of the situation is going to start happening for you now. Now, I wish somebody would put your hands together just to give them our praise for that. Now, 
in our lives, we all have to come to an understanding that, again, we, we will go through a lot of things. How many know that we go through stuff every week? And what Granddaddy used to say, if it, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Yeah. Well, if, if stuff is always uh, working against us, and sometimes we we are afraid in our lives to try to uh, to try to advance and do things any further because we are afraid that what we're going to end up with is a failure in a certain thing. Uh, some people don't go back to school because they figure they can't they can't do all four years. You know, uh, I got kids. I'm working two jobs. I got bills. I financial aid. I tried. I, I failed at it the first time. I can't do it another time. There are certain people that won't start a business because they feel, well, I, I don't have the investment capital. I don't have uh, I don't have people who will support my business. I don't know anything about business. I don't know how to, to run business. There are other people uh, that, that won't even get involved with church things because they feel like, well, I'm, I'm just not uh, holy enough. I'm not walking right enough yet. I'm not done doing this and I'm not done doing that. Surely God can't use me yet. And, and there, there's, how many know that more often than not, we're always thinking of 10 reasons we can't do something instead of the one reason we can't? Am I right? Amen. We're always thinking uh, negatively. Uh, what, what are all of the negative repercussions based upon the decision that I can make today to change my life? Look at your name and say, neighbor, today you can make a decision to change the rest of your life. Now let's think about that. Let's weigh on that this morning. Uh, you always hear um, things about change and how you can begin to change the rest of your life. People get up and they give in inspirational speeches about how you can make decisions and, and make a better tomorrow. Okay, Here, here's what I want to uh, drive home to you today. Here's my first question. How many of you are tired of going through struggle? Okay, now, here's, here's, another, here's, here's, here's where I want to go with this. How many of you are ready to begin to walk in a good purpose-filled life, like progressive? You feel like, uh, uh, you know, what I take on, I can, I can achieve. Whatever I, I push, I can make happen. And have you ever had a moment in your life where things were, you know, they seem to be lining up? Right in front of you, you know. I, I know we might not all have experienced it, but just the taste of it, where maybe you kind of woke up and the day just went right. You know, you just felt like nothing was really going wrong. And you settled down at the end of it, at the end of the day, and you were like, yeah, this was a good day. Things went well for me today. I made good decisions today. Good things happened for me today. Have you ever been in a situation where things kind of came for you, uh, came through for you at the right time, and you thought to yourself then, well, man, this is a good situation. Or have you made a decision and you felt like it was right on the inside? Well, God says this morning, I want you to begin to live the kind of life where you're not waking up every day worried, tired, depressed, struggling, and you have all these different issues. I want you to be, you can't minister effectively to people if you are so tied down in struggle. Now, I don't want to say that struggle is wrong. I'm not saying that we don't need to go through things. Certainly we do. It helps us become better people. Well, how many of half of us would pray if we didn't go through some stuff in our lives? But because we can go through struggle, we need to understand that it is through the struggle God gets us to a place where we can start living progressively. We can start taking on life by a different perception. Instead of looking at something and saying, I can't, you'll start looking at it and saying, through God and Jesus Christ, I know I can. You see, this morning, I want to encourage you that you can begin to change your life today if you are willing to start making some adjustments in your life. Now, the psalmist said something interesting. And he said, this is the day that the Lord has made. But the next sentence, he makes a choice, Deacon. He says, I will. Just that alone, David begins to change his situation. Just that moment alone, and it wasn't something that was far off in the future. It wasn't something that was uh, uh, embedded in his past. He made a present decision right then to say, right 